Hello, I'm Emma. I'm a palace host here at Hampton Court Palace. Hampton Court is one of the places in Richmond where you can come and witness 500 years of history. So here at Hampton Court, the big draw is of course the Tudor side of the palace. We have the Great Hall and the famous Haunted Gallery. We also have the apartments of William III and Mary II and also the Georgian influence in the palace through Queen Caroline. And then we have the entirety of the gardens for you to peruse at your leisure. So Hampton Court Palace was originally bought by Cardinal Wolsey in the 1500s. He designed it with Henry in mind, always wanting it to be a home away from home for him. Henry then took over Hampton Court Palace in around 1528, when he then decided to build upon it, including things like the Great Hall and the Great Watching Chamber. We also have the history of several other kings and queens here, including William III and Mary II and the Georgians, so George I, George II and Queen Caroline. We've had the ghost tours here, tours about the state apartments and the kings and queens that have lived here. We also have the Tudor kitchens, of course, where we have fires going pretty much every day. So of course, as you can tell, there are so many reasons why you should come and visit us at Hampton Court. We would love to have you so we can share with you the history of the past 500 years. You will walk in the same footsteps as Henry, William III, Elizabeth I and Mary II. Hello, I'm Derek Pannell. I'm the director of Strawberry Hill House and Garden. And uh, this is the home that Horace Walpole created in the 18th century. An extraordinary, absolute flight of fancy and imagination and creativity, which is the hallmark of everything that you'll find in Strawberry Hill. So here we are in the gallery, which is probably the most splendid and extraordinary room in the house. And happily now home to our newly acquired portrait of Catherine de' Medici and her children. So here we are in the round room, a magnificent room and a splendid gilded ceiling with this beautiful classical frieze which is echoed in this beautiful Adam fireplace, above which of course is the portrait of the man himself, Horace Walpole. And here we are in the library for many visitors with three and a half thousand books, probably the most interesting and remarkable room. Walpole was a great reader, academic student of art, geography, politics, drama, theatre, all sorts of subjects are covered in this remarkable collection of books. This has been a brief snapshot of just some of the rooms that we have here. We have many more rooms to see and of course the splendid grounds and the gardens to see as well. We look forward to welcoming you to Strawberry Hill. Hi, my name's Kevin. Welcome to Ham House. It is my job to care for the historic furniture, textiles and paintings here at Ham House. Every day I open the shutters to welcome visitors to this 400 year old mansion. So why come to Ham? Well, we've got one of the best preserved Jacobean homes in all of Europe. We have internationally significant collections of artworks, including miniatures by Nicholas Hilliard and Isaac Oliver, paintings by Sir Peter Lilly, Anthony Van Dyck and Joshua Reynolds. Finely crafted and intricately detailed textiles ranging from silk damasks and embroidered chairs to tapestries and gold threaded wall hangings. We have furniture from all over the world with many one of a kind pieces. Ham House Garden is home to a 17th century walled garden where plantings recreate what historically might have been. Ham's colourful flower borders and parterres, wilderness area and productive kitchen garden are constantly evolving showcasing contemporary ideas all with a touch of 17th century opulence.